Hello everybody, Harmsway here. In this video, we'll be looking at 12 secret tricks at Red Dead Online. Number one, you can do posse executions without the posse member taking damage. My friend is the posse leader. She's going to grab me with Y on Xbox, Triangle on PS5. As soon as she does that, I'm going to join her posse. Then she's going to conduct the execution. As you can see, I took no damage, but I got a nice bullet hole in my chest. You can do this with all sorts of different variations and executions. In this one, I'm firing a dynamite arrow into her head, and it actually stays in her head. Number two, double lasso trick. This requires at least two players and a dead player, NPC, or animal. Both the players throw their lasso and then slowly start reeling in. Number three, hang posse members by the neck. So you have to turn on the hangman card, and then with friendly fire off, you lasso a posse member and slowly start reeling them in. Number four, shooting an arrow straight up into the sky. Uh, the arrow will come down, so if you line it up right, get the distance good, you can actually kill people. Number five, getting animal fat quickly. So you can go here to this Valentine bounty board, and it's the third infamous bounty poster. I recommend just keeping this one active to keep using it. So as you can see, it throws me into the Heartland Overflow area during daytime. This is exactly what we want because we're going to be getting geese and ducks in this location. The second method for this is in going to roads. I'm going to go to Anthony Foreman and then similar to the bounty poster, so this will be the Capitale mission. It? It's going to be Cornwall Contract 2 out of 3. Right. So again I recommend just keeping this one active so you can keep using it. Uh, those of you in the similar spot to the first location. And then rinse and repeat until you have enough animal fat. Number six, it takes eight seconds to reload an unholstered weapon. So fire your gun a few times and it takes eight seconds without equipping that gun to then switch back to it and your ammo will be fully reloaded special thank you to tick tactic on youtube for finding this number seven run while dragging players with a lasso so have your lasso as your quick select item put your weapon away aim at them like you're about to emote without emoting and then while you're aiming at them, quick select your lasso, throw the lasso at them, start reeling them in, and as soon as you see the option to hogtie, press that button, and then immediately start running right behind you while holding left trigger the entire time. Number eight, undead animal glitch. For this, you will need a sedated animal that you can drag and a train. So take that animal up onto the train with the lasso. And then once it's on there, you should see the option to skin the animal. 
So you have to get close enough to give you that option. And then all you gotta do is skin it. And now you should have the option to revive it. Number nine, domesticate any wild animal at camp. Well, I, I shouldn't say any. It has to be an animal that you can sedate and also lasso, similar to the last, uh, number eight. So for this, you will need your theme for your camp to be survivor. And then your tent will have to be the covered option. In this case, I'm sedating a gator. So just drag it slowly back to camp to keep it alive. And then just drag it on onto the lean to and then revive it. You'll notice here once you revive it, it is stuck. It can't move. Now we're gonna give Mama Gator a baby gator. Now we have a full family. Number 10, guaranteed camp spot in Big Valley. So normally when people place their camp in Big Valley, they kind of want it near this little river here, this little creek. Um, but when you do that, it usually doesn't go where you want. So just as an example, this is from Valentine. I just pitched it in Big Valley and it's kind of down near Strawberry. And that kind of happens more often than not. But what you can do is go to Coulter. And then from Coulter, spawn your camp in Big Valley. And then almost always four spawns your camp uh, directly south of you, which puts it in that little river area. Number 11, make it snow. So go over here to Wallace Station. It's going to be the third bounty on the infamous bounty poster here. So it's already snowing, but you can see the game is kind of locked to that little circle. Just go ahead and complete the bounty to this point. And then you can actually just kill the bounty. And once you do that, it'll open up the rest of the map. So in this case, I'm just going to Valentine. You can really go anywhere else. Just kind of keep in mind you have about 12 to 15 minutes to do what you want to do. All right, then. Number 12, Poker Table Shenanigans. So, in this, you can kind of get creative with it. It's just something fun to do. Uh, you basically throw some dynamite or put some flammable moonshine down and then start up a poker game. And it'll kind of, you won't get a death animation, but it'll show whatever's happening as soon as you hit that cutscene. Kind of a good way to get some funny pictures or anything else. All right, that wraps up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, learned something new, and I will catch you next time. Thank you.